Hey Tubes, this is Blazer Project. Well, today went and ran errands. Got appointments changed and everything. My days off got changed, so that's going to affect videos for a few. Plus also, we may be going to one day off a week for a spell, so videos may become sparse and so forth. But does not mean I have forgotten about the Blazer at all. I found the building, just it's getting the money saved up to get it, and so forth, with everything else I've got coming in as far as bills go. Am I complaining about it? No, I'm just letting you guys know. Hang in there. Trust me, I want to get back on the damn thing myself, but things come up. But, I stopped at John Deere, took the bearings in. Now on the Dayton, you notice that wheels off the spindle. Well, that's because it's in the garage. Let's come in here. Took one of the good bearings right here. I mean, I'll keep this around for a spare if I need it. And the spindle. Good thing is they had these in stock. These would normally be 27 if I had to order them offline, but these were 10 bucks a piece, so I'm not going to complain. But first, I've got to take the Dremel, which is up there, and I gotta go in here. There's a burr all the way around, but also, I wonder if you guys can see, use this air can, the freaking divot right here. That's, this is the inside bearing. This is what happens when they decide to let loose and you keep driving on it for freaking ever it wallows out so that's all the way around it's not all the way through thank goodness but I've got to get rid of this burr right here so plan is take this stone and just go through and get rid of the burr that's sitting right here and that's it get that done then press the new bearings in and then do it to the other side plus also put a little grease in there for the uh, wheel to ride on. So I'm going to get to deburring, as they say, and I'll put it up on the tripod. So let me get set up. All right, got a new stone for the Dremel. So let's get this deburred. All I'm doing is just going around, gonna make multiple passes, get this burr out of the way, and then the new bearing will sit right on in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me pull you guys off. Come on, focus. Now you can see the burr is gone. I can move the straw up and down just fine. That's going to be there because that is well in there. But the burr is gone and. I could just slide the bearing on in, so let's take one of the bearings and get her in. Alright. Now for this I'm gonna go find one of the rubber hammers. Alright, what I've decided to do is rubber mallet piece of wood and just beat it on all sides till it's seated and it is a tight freaking fit you want to go till it is completely seated all the way down now 
And it looks like that's as far as she will go. But it's seated. So I'm going to do the other side and then we'll go out see how it fits on the mower. So give me a few. Got this side on. Lock nuts right here. And I couldn't be more happier. That thing spins so much freely. Here, it's incredible. Now over here you can see just how much it's off. So I've got to get the tire back on that side, throw some grease in it. Even though they're steel bearings, I'm going to still put some grease in there. That way the spindle itself has something to ride on. And then I'm going to rip this one off, replace the bearings on it, and we'll be done with this step. And that's pretty much it. So let's see how much fun that is. Alright, got the other spindle in here. Apparently both bearings have been replaced on this, but I got two new ones. And it just makes it proper to replace them and so forth. Besides, they don't have play in them, but get these out, get yourself a bar or something, me, extension, and for feet, pre, Pete's sakes, I left the hammer out here. Me and leaving tools outside. And all you do is just stick her in. Just hammer the sucker home until it comes out. Oh yeah. If you can see what I'm seeing down there, it ain't good. Yeah, this ain't good. So, I'm going to hammer away and let's take a look and see just how bad this is. Alright, got those out. And I mean, you can see here, this thing is toast. If I can do that, get it. I mean, look at all the play in that thing. It's gone. But, decent enough still for a spare bearing. That's the back side. Here's the one for the front. It, I mean, you can see, it's just as bad, so. This was more than needed, and it's dry, so. Yeah, needless to say, glad I'm doing this. Eh, screw it. There we go. Now you can see my face. So, in other words, I've got to replace these two bearings, and then the front end's done on the Dayton. Got fuel parts on order for it. Those will hopefully be in here pretty soon, probably by the end of the week, and then I can hopefully have it run properly, minus a belt, which I'll probably be getting on Monday as well. So, either way that's getting close to completion other than a complete tear down and paint but that can handle that can happen later on i just need it to run move and be ready to work so that's going to be once that gets done i can focus on one more thing and that's getting my forge back in operation or my smelter and that's going to be something else so i'm focusing on these smaller projects getting them out of the way and then i can focus on the blazer so I'll catch you guys all later. Hope this was good, but it was definitely needed on this thing. Those bearings were toast. Good news is, the driver's side, I do not have to use the Dremel on. But, other than that, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out for now.